Hello students, in this video, let us understand how to calculate payback period. So before proceeding with the calculation of payback period, let us understand what is payback period. So payback period is nothing but the time required to a company to recover the investment which has been made by the company on a particular asset. Andre, when the company asset mele enu investment anna maadi rutte, aa investment anna recover maadi kolodokke eshtu samaya beku anodana na venanta karithivi, payback period anta karithivi. It may be in years, it may be in months. Here we have a problem. So first let us understand the problem, then we will proceed with the calculation. Mohan and company is considering the purchase of a machine. Two machines X and Y each costing Rs 50,000 are available. Cash inflows are expected to be as under calculate payback period. Here Mohan and company is considering to purchase a machinery. So to the company two alternatives are available. One is machine X and another one is machine Y. So out of these two, company has to select one. So uh, to selecting uh, either machine X or machine Y, company have to calculate payback period. So based on the payback period, company has to select either machine X or machine Y. So to calculate uh, payback period, the cash inflow required is cash flow after tax but before depreciation. Here the cash flow required can be calculated by deducting depreciation from the cash flows then tax then add back the depreciation. So if you add back the depreciation it will become cash flow before depreciation after tax. This is the process. First we need to deduct depreciation only. Then after deducting depreciation, we are supposed to deduct tax. Then we need to add back the depreciation while calculating payback period. So this is the process. In the, the same process, amount has to be deducted and has to be added. Cash flow in the depreciation and then our first deduct marbeku. Depreciation deduct maadi ad mele tax na deduct maadbeku. Adada nantra na vein maadtivi depreciation na matte add maadtivi. Yene ke matte add maadtivi anta idhra. Namke payback period na calculate maadadikke beka agirvanta cash flow. Cash flow before depreciation. So before depreciation agirathra inda na vada na matte add maadko beku. But after tax, andra tax na payment ad mele beku. Other cost kara tax na nau less maadtivi but add back maadko la dilda. Ili depreciation na niu first less maadle beku. This is the process. From the cash inflow, the uh, first you have to deduct depreciation. Then you have to deduct tax. Then you need to add back the depreciation while calculating payback period. So, this process is the way follow when depreciation and tax information given in the problem and when problem clearly specifies about the cash flows, whether cash flow before depreciation and tax or cash flow after depreciation and tax and the clear mention matra we are supposed to follow this you know process and just to make cash flow on the quality you have the depreciation with the tax information quality land there you are no you know not supposed to deduct depreciation and tax and no that is you know, it is not required to add back the depreciation so in this problem they have not stated anything about the depreciation and tax and they have not clearly specified whether cash flow is before depreciation and tax or after depreciation and tax so no need to follow this process i explained this just for your understanding purpose we require cash flow that is uh, 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 cash flow before depreciation and tax it can be calculated by following this process uh, uh, in you know in calculating payback period we have two methods one is when uh, even cash flows are given and when uneven cash flows are given so even cash flow is nothing but a machine or an asset is going to generate uh, same cash flow throughout the life of the asset andre a life for our you know on the cash flow barutte adu same idre ondu formula barutte 
ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾ ಅಂದರೆ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅವಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಅನ್ಇವನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಅಂತ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇಯರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೀವನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ಇವನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಜನರೇಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಇಯರ್ ಟೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ಇವನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೊ the method of calculating payback period under uneven cash flow is different so if cash flow is uh, even in the sense if ca- if, comp- if if an asset is uh, going to generate same cash flow throughout the life of the asset example 15000 in first year 15000 second year 15000 third year 15000 fourth year 15000 ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಈವನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರತಿ ವರ್ಷ ಒಂದೇ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಅನ್ಇವನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ವರ್ಷ ವರ್ಷ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ಇವನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅನ್ಇವನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ದಿ ಕ್ಯಾ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪೇ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಈವನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ Uh, then the payback period can be calculated by using this formula that is original cost of the uh, asset or original investment divided by annual cash inflow illi original investment is nothing but cost cost divided by annual cash inflow ika 15000 prati varsha generate agutte andre divided by 15000 madidre you will get payback period so here they have given uneven cash flow so the method of calculation of payback period is different so first let us learn how to calculate payback period for machine x so uh, first we need to write the years they have given 5 years and cash flows given uh, 15000 20000 25000 15000 and 10000 since uh, this uh, cash flow is uneven we need to calculate cumulative cash flow so cumulative cash flow can be calculated by adding the uh, cash flows of all the years first year it is 15000 second year cumulative cash flow will be 15000 plus 20000 it will be 35000 next third year cash inflow you know cumulative cash flow will be 35000 plus 25000 it will be 60000 next fourth year uh, cumulative cash flow will be 60000 plus 15000 it will be 75000 then fifth year cumulative cash flow will be 75000 plus 10000 it will be 85000 first we need to calculate cumulative cash flow after calculating cumulative cash flow then uh, we have to calculate payback period see the original investment original cost of the asset is 50000 in the sense the company has to recover 50000 so here we are calculating payback period to find out uh, the number of years required to recover this 50000 so here ಈ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನಮಗೆ ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ವಿ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈಯರ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈಯರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಜನರೇಟ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಎ ಕಂಪನಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಕವರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ recovering 35000 the company need to recover remaining amount right out of 50000 company has recovered 35000 in second year remaining amount will be 50000 minus 35000 that is 15000 divided by this 15000 can be generated or recovered in which year in third year third year cash flow that is 25000 35000 company can recover in second year so remaining amount required to recover is 50000 minus 35000 that is 15000 recover maadkobeku ee 15000 anna yava varsha recover maartare third year alli recover maartare third year cash flow is 25000 15000 divided by 25000 0.6 years payback period is 2 years plus 0.6 years 2.6 years it is about the calculation of payback period when uneven cash flow are given first we need to calculate cumulative cash flow then we need to find out the payback period i will repeat see in second year company 
can recover 35,000. But company need to recover 50,000. Here it is, you know, it is not possible to determine the exact payback period because uh, in this cumulative cash flow, uh, exact 50,000 is not determined. So 35,000 can be uh, recovered uh, by the company in second year. So two years plus remaining amount uh, need to be required, you know, recovered by the company is. 50,000 minus 35,000 that is 15,000 divided by this 15,000 can be recovered by the company in third year. So 25,000. Why we are writing uh, this 25,000 that is you know cash flow of third year means 35,000 has been recovered by the company in the second year. So next, uh, next remaining amount can be recovered only from the next year right that is third year. So we are writing third year cash inflow. Next, in the same way, let us calculate uh, payback period for machine Y. Write the years, then cash flow of machine Y 5,000, 15,000, 20,000, 30,000, and 20,000. In the same way, calculate cumulative cash flow 5,000 for the first year, 5,000 plus 15,000, it will be 20,000, 20,000 plus 20,000, it will be 40,000, 40,000 plus 30,000, it will be 70,000. 70,000 plus 20,000, it will be equals to 90,000. Here, the original investment for machine Y is also 50,000 because here they have clear, clearly stated that uh, two machines X and Y each costing rupees 50,000. So, we need to recover 50,000. Here, company can recover 40,000 in the year 3. So, payback period is equal to 3 years plus. If company can recover 40,000 in uh, third year, remaining amount required to recover by the company is 10,000, right? Three years only 40,000 recover. Right? 50,000 only 40,000 recover. 10,000 recover. 50,000 minus 40,000, 10,000. This 10,000 can be recovered by the company in which year? In the fourth year. Fourth year cash flow is 30,000. So 10,000 divided by 30,000 uh, is equal to 0.33 years. So payback period is equal to 3 years plus 0.33 years. It will be 3.33 years. So while writing the summary or conclusion, machine X is preferred because payback period is only 2.6 years. Let us compare both the machines. Here, uh, uh, the payback rate of machine X is 2.6 years. In the sense, company can recover 50,000 rupees in 2.6 years only. But in case of the machine Y, uh, the company required to wait 3.33 years. Here, only 2.6 years. Here, 3.33 years. So, the better machine is machine X because the company can recover the original investment within 2.6 years compared to machine Y that is 3.33 years. Thank you students. It's about the calculation of payback period.